Hi there, this is Sergeant First Class Garrison again, offering you some tips on having your household goods picked up. I've been in the Army 18 years and have PCS six times. At this point, you've received your orders for a permanent change of station, created an account in Defense Personal Property System at move.mil, and been to your transportation office to coordinate all aspects of your upcoming move. When the movers come to your living quarters, I would advise discarding as much garbage as possible to prevent them from accidentally packing it. It's also a good idea to separate items that will not be packed away, such as suitcases, toiletries, medications, food, and cleaning materials. And take inventory and color code all boxes of your belongings by room. This will help make sure you have everything in the right place on the other side of the move. The packing and picking up of household goods usually takes one to three days, depending on how much you're entitled to take with you. Things such as rank, family size, amount of personal possessions, and approved professional items are all factors. If you're going overseas, some of your household goods will be put in non-temporary storage for free until your next move based on your particular circumstances. On the other hand, if you're being reassigned within the continental United States, you will be able to bring all of your household goods based on your particular weight allocation. If you exceed your maximum weight, you will be charged for shipping of excess weight. I highly recommend you take photos or shoot video of your high-priced possession such as jewelry, computers, paintings, music-related equipment, furniture, collectibles, and any other items that are of value to you. And inventory your own household goods to include their condition, as well as verifying the mover's inventory paperwork before signing it. This will prove to be helpful if you encounter any damaged or missing items. I've been in the military 20 years and have PCS seven times. During one of those PCS, I was missing two crates. And it's important, I found, that you have an in-depth inventory because one of those items in the crates was a CD case and it just was labeled as CD case and it did not label how many CDs was in the case. So being that 100 CDs were in the case, I needed to have that labeled in order to get properly reimbursed. And make sure you secure all important paperwork that you will need to hand carry during your move to ensure it doesn't get packed. If any issues come up during the pickup and cannot be resolved on the spot, customers should call a quality assurance inspector at their local transportation office or the U.S. Transportation Command toll-free hotline at 1-833-645-6683. For resolution. One of the first things I'll look for is make sure they have all the required uh, documentation on site to give to the member. So I'm going to go around and make sure that they're packing stuff according to the regulations on how stuff's supposed to be packed. And just make sure they're not overstuffing boxes during loading time frames. I'm also looking to make sure the stuff that's not in boxes is wrapped properly and loaded into the truck properly so minimal to no damage on the member's property. Additionally, it's very important you complete the online customer satisfaction survey to rate the moving company at move.mil. This will help improve the quality of future moves. Remember, if you have any issues or questions about or during your move, you can call your local transportation office or call the U.S. Transportation Command's toll-free hotline and remember to go online at move.mil for helpful moving information.